Hello and welcome to Indus News. Coming to you from our studios in Lahore, I'm Joseph Hyatt and these are the top stories. At least 81 people have died after a fire blazed through multiple buildings in Bangladesh's capital, Dhaka. The Director General of the Fire Service has said that the fire started on the ground floor of a chemical warehouse and raced through other buildings. He said that the blaze was fueled further by pickup vans carrying gas cylinders within the vicinities. Officials have warned that the death toll could rise as several people are still trapped inside the buildings. New Delhi has surrendered its demands for the acquittal and release of Indian spy Kulbasan Jadav in the UN's top court. In a complete U-turn of its stance, India is pleading for the International Court of Justice to annul Jadav's sentence and to refer his case to a civilian court. Earlier during the hearing, the Indian side had retracted from its original demand for consular access to Jadav. Pakistan will make its final submission to the top United Nations court at The Hague today. Meanwhile, Islamabad has asked New Delhi for an explanation over the killing of a Pakistani prisoner by inmates at a jail in India's Rajasthan state. In a statement, the Foreign Office said that Pakistan is gravely concerned at media reports regarding the brutal killing of a Pakistani prisoner in a Jaipur central jail. The Foreign Office has said that Pakistan's High Commission in New Delhi has raised the issue with the Indian authorities, asking for a prompt response. It also called on India's government to fulfill its obligations and to ensure the provision of security to all Pakistani inmates and visitors to India. Earlier, it was reported that the deceased Pakistani prisoner, Shakriola, was stoned to death by Indian prisoners. Well, in another development, the International Shooting Sports Federation has warned India that it could face sanctions for denying visas to Pakistani athletes. In a statement, the federation warned India of possible consequences after it denied visas to two Pakistani athletes. Besides the ISSF, it said it was discussing possible consequences for India as a host country for future international competitions in all sports. And Russia has said that it will target not only EU countries, but the US itself if any nuclear weapons are deployed in Europe. In his annual address to the Federal Assembly, President Vladimir Putin said that Russia was not seeking a confrontation and that his nation would not take the first steps towards one. Putin, however, warned that Russian reaction to any possible deployments would be resolute. The US State Department has termed Putin's statement as a propaganda to divert attention from Russian violations of the INF Treaty. Well, there you have it. You're up to date this hour, but stay tuned to Indus News for all the latest updates. And why not search for us in your social media timeline where you can find exclusive clips from our flagship shows. That's the headlines this hour.